Good morning, Overload Nation. I just watched a video from IGN talking about uh, No Man's Sky and how they visited five random planets in the game. Firstly, again, the game looks awesome. It looks amazing. The whole idea, the whole concept, the whole premise is amazing. The fact that it's procedural generated just enhances that experience. I really want to know how they technically pull that off as regards to optimization and performance, not to mention keeping it all on a like a few gigs, which is you know file size. I want to know how they do that, just from a dev side, dev perspective. So IGN had this this video with um. Five more, five more planets with the just show the player what's what and go through a few things. Um, they talk about this like GTA deterrent kind of thing where you kill the animals and the sentinels or robots will attack you. I don't get why they have that. Why would they bother with that? Because it's like let the players just massacre aliens and destroy ecosystems and devastate planets and such and such like this. And it's like just don't you know why? Um, why, why give a deterrent? You know, why attack the player and deter them from doing that? I'm sure in the end there'll be a reasonable explanation, but, you know, right now it's like, meh, why bother? Just let him kill them, let him destroy him. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let him destroy planets, cause, just for Willy Nilly's sake. And I'm also curious as to what else you can do in the game, because we're starting to see a lot of planets, and they're really pushing this idea about this planet is completely different, and there's like so many millions and billions and trillions of different planets, each one's completely unique in procedure generation and all this, all these buzzwords, but it's like, yeah, cool, what else can you do exactly? You know, let's talk about these sentinels, these robots, these guardians, let's talk about the human interaction, let's talk about the multiplayer now, you know. I get the idea it's got infinite amount of planets, but what else is there to the game? There seems to be ways that you can play through, um, there seems to be different kind of ways to play the game, which is cool, like trader, scavenger, raider, bandit, pirate, uh, I don't know, explorer, adventurer, which to be honest, explorer and adventurer sound very fun in their own way. What I would probably do is jump into the game and probably just stick to one planet and probably do whatever I can to that one planet. Explore, what was it, explore, exploit, exterminate and expand. If, if you can build bases in the game, which I somewhat doubt, but hey, we're pretty cool. So it's like these five new planets, and you know I want to see more 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 gameplay aspects outside the visiting planets. What you know what else can you do exactly? You know how does the trading system work exactly? There's in in game economy. How does that work? And these sentinels and is there a plot? And there's the overall arc of getting to the center, the very center of the galaxy or the universe or whatever is beyond that, the multiverse, whatever. But you you know what what else can you do? These planets are all procedurally generated and all the rest, which is cool. And you know you're gonna get some animals and some planets that have some horrible names you can i can tell you that now so maybe they'll have to have some sort of um regulation or some sort of moderation hmm what do you think overload nation comments questions or queries subscribe if you haven't already more videos to come